Welcome to the Your Audio Solutions Podcast, episode 18. Thanks for tuning in. This is actually the first video podcast thing I'm trying out. Uh, maybe the lighting isn't perfect because I don't have a lighting rig as many people do, but who cares, I guess. Uh, before, or actually today's topics um, topic is why you need patient, patience and determination to succeed. Um, but before we get into the to the topic today, I want to tell you about some cool feedback I got from uh, the free guide, which you can download in the description below, three tested ways to increase your client base. And the feedback I got was that your the person said, your email template is working fantastically. So far, I sent an email to three people and all but the two of them got back to me and they're really good artists. artists. Uh, it's a great tool and it made me contact people in another way. Um, so that's awesome feedback. Thank you to the person who sent that to me. And um, if you want to use this email template, it's in the description below. Just download the free guide um, and use it. It works and yeah, let me know as well. Um, what you think about the guide, if you have already downloaded it or any anything that is not working or anything you want to say, send me an email. And let me know what you think about this guide. It helps me create better content for you and help you in better ways. So let me know. Um, for today, on today's episode, I want to talk to you about why you need patience and determination to succeed. Um, so my journey so where i'm at now i'm a few years in being a freelance freelance sound engineer worked in studios working venues um, music for sync um, theater shows that i've done music for sound design a lot of things and um, one of the re reasons i am at where i am today is because i have adapted to my surroundings and that's that's really important and something I really want to stress to you because when I just started out, my only goal was to work in recording studios. Um, and I did. I worked in a few of them and worked with some great projects, great artists, great engineers, great producers. Um, but it wasn't enough sometimes to pay the bills, so to speak. Um, and this led me to try, sort out, or find other venues, avenues, I should say, to work in. Still in audio. And one of the first jobs I did, besides working in a recording studio, was that I worked in a guitar workshop. Uh, and that was a great way to learn more about. We actually built guitar amps. We made pickups, uh, repaired guitars, and all that sort of thing. So it was still in the world of music or audio, but in a different setting, I should say. Um, and this also led me to find other work, such as doing live sound, which I had never thought about doing before because it scared the hell out of me. Uh, but now I've been doing it for quite a while and it's a great, I, I love it actually. So I'm really happy I got into doing it. Uh, but this all, led oh this was all because i adapted to what was going on going on around me basically because i couldn't all the time make a living just from studio work so i had to do other things still within audio um to help pay the bills and having talked to people in the music industry like interviews on my website um i know andrew sheps he said at some point, you know, he was doing some huge records that he was mixing, um, but he still sometimes had to find other another income. And he so he taught music mixing, uh, he did home theater installation and other stuff. And that just goes to show, like, no matter how big you can get in the music industry, there still might be times where you have to divert from your main interest or main passion, you know, but it can still lead to awesome stuff. 
And one of the other, th- other things that this allowed me to do was to do music for sync and library music. And that's also what led me to have one of my tracks used by Audi in um, South Korea. And also led me to do two more albums. One album is already signed to a label. Another one I just finished. I'm working on pitching it to other labels. But this would never have entered my mind if it wasn't going slow in the studio world, which I'm nowadays grateful for because it was a blessing in disguise. And that's why I want to tell you tell you a story because you might find yourself in the same situation and it might be slow in the studio where you're working in or your own studio um, because maybe the bands you're talking to or working with are, is, are not recording an album at, at this point in time or they might not need anything mixed at this point in time. So you have to adapt to what's happening, you know. You might you might sometimes have to take different routes than you expected to do, but that's fine, you know. Um, you're not going to die. And as with me, and it could lead to great opportunities that you're not aware of, that is still within audio or music. Um, so stay open-minded to... to to take different routes and because you never know where it can take you. That's the that's the point I want to stress in this in this thing I'm talking about. Um, but so you might wonder, what does this have to do with patience and determination? Well, if I didn't have determination and patience, I think I would have quit long a long time ago and. If I would have done that, I wouldn't, first of all, was speaking to you about this, but I wouldn't have been able to work with all these great people and been a part of all these great projects that I have done. For example, if I wouldn't have got into live sound, I wouldn't have composed music and sound design for this latest show I was a part of this summer, um, a show where I did the music and sound design, which was amazing. And it was really fun to do something other than just engineering. It was fun to be more creative. Um, and I wouldn't have started this podcast. I wouldn't have met friends that are now friends and and people I make music with. It wouldn't have happened if I didn't have the patience and the, de- the determination to succeed in this business. Uh, that's why this is important. and something I want to tell you about because, you know, don't give up have the patience to keep at it because it's a long game. You got to play the long game in this business. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't, for example, using the, going back to the beginning of this podcast, using that email template that I told you about, um, you're not going to send one email out to your band and the next day you're going to be hired, getting paid. It takes longer than that, you know, because it might without you reach out to your band and they might not be working on something new at the moment. They might be working on something new six months from now. You know, so you got to be able to keep at it for those six months before before something else happens. Um, and keep that relationship warm. And that's all down to you being patient about it and having the determination to do it and play the long game. So that also means you got to be able to or at least this is my experience. Um, for me, I cannot work 12 hours a day, every day, working on the fear, so to speak, to to succeed. You got to have something else that can support you throughout your journey. And I'm lucky that now I've done so many different things that I can do live sound. I can do com- composing stuff like I just did or uh, recording projects that comes up. You know, I'm able to do all these different things that allow me to make a living on this, you know. And that's all thanks to me being determined and having the patience to succeed. Because, as you know, I don't know if it's a generational thing. We want everything to happen yesterday or tomorrow. But life doesn't work that way, unfortunately. <laughs> so take it easy. Enjoy life. Do the work necessary. Be smart about it. Stay organized so you know 
the steps you need to do to get where you want. That's really important. And yeah, I can't stress this enough. It's important. It has allowed me to get where I am today. And it can do the same for you no matter where you are in 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 your career, I guess. Um, yeah, guys. Um, keep at it. Let me know. Send me an email. Leave a comment below. If you have any questions, um, stuff you want me to clarify or share your experience to the community, basically. So let me know. And thanks for today. I'll see you next week. And take it easy. Bye.